Hi guys, today we're going to be learning how to play Castle on the Hill by Ed Sheeran on ukulele. Now I'm gonna teach y'all how to play this song the easy way, which means we're using easy chords. There are no bar chords in this tutorial. However, if you're wanting to play with the original track of the song, in order to use these chords and have it match, you're gonna have to capo the second fret of your ukulele. But personally for me, I just don't use a capo and I like to sing the song a step lower, which is also perfectly fine. I just wanna make it aware. So I'm gonna go ahead and go over the four chords that you need. The first one is C major, then we have an F major, an A minor, which is easy because going from the F to the A minor you just pull off your index finger, and then last we have a G chord. Also, sorry if there's lots of background noise. My brothers are playing their video games right out there and they refuse to be quiet. What can you do? First, we're gonna go over the verses. The progression is C, F, A minor, and G. You're gonna hold each chord for four beats. So if you're doing the verses with single down strums, which is the first strumming pattern that I recommend, it's gonna sound like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then you keep repeating that. I think you do it a total of four times for the verses. So singing along. When I was six years old, I broke my leg. I was running from my brother and his friends. And then you do it another two times. I think that that's pretty self-explanatory. You can always use single down strums for any part of the song, but I'm also gonna show you other strumming patterns. The best strumming pattern that goes with this song is single muted down strums, but you accent some of the beats in there. I'm gonna show you what that means. So to keep it muted, it means that you keep your palm resting on the strings, but you're also gonna have it lifted up at some time so you can sound the chord. So it's gonna kind of sound like that. And when you accent the strum, it means you strum a little bit harder on that one and then mute it straight after. Now we're gonna talk about the rhythm that this song follows for the strumming pattern. You're gonna accent the beats like this. One and two and three and four and. So you're accenting one, doing small muted strums for and two, and then and before the three, you're gonna accent three and four and. So really you can just keep all those other strums muted and just strum harder on the ones that you're accenting and then mute it right after. So you really don't have to have your palm resting completely. You just want it there so you can quickly, right after you strum, set it down and then have those next ones muted. If that makes sense, it's really something you can play around with and decide what you think sounds best and how you want to do the song. It's going to sound like this all together. One and two and three and four and. One and two and three and four and. One and two and three and four and. One and and two and three and four and. Of course, you're gonna wanna start off really slow with that because it is a rhythm that's harder if you're first learning it, but I promise once you get the hang of it, it just comes naturally. So start out really slow, one and two and three and four and. You can even do it slower than that. And then eventually you will get up to the speed that you wanna be at, which is gonna sound something like this. Six years old, I broke my leg. I was running from my brother and his friends. And again, to break that down just a little bit further, is it's eight single down strums, semi muted if you want to say that, and then your accent team beats one and two and three and four and. All right, so now that we've pretty much covered the strumming patterns that you can use for the entire song, I'm gonna go over the other progressions for the pre chorus, the chorus, and the bridge. The progression for the pre chorus is F, G, C, F. You play that again, and then you play F and G. Again, you're holding each of those chords for four beats, just like the verse. I'm gonna show you how that sounds with single down strums. Fell my heart and broke it here. Made friends and lost them through the years. And I've not seen the roaring fields in so long. I know I've grown. I can't wait to go home. I like to use single down strums for the pre-chorus just because it is more of an open feel, like in the song, but you can also do one and two and three and four and get here, made friends and lost them through the years. 
I think you get the point. Pretty much it's just like a mixing and matching thing. You get to choose where you want to use each strumming pattern or you can just completely disregard one that I'm teaching you and only use one. Yay, get creative and make your own too. Yeah, I say that in every video, but you can always make your own. And guess what? To make it easier on you, the progression for the chorus is the exact same as the verse. So you're gonna have C, F, A minor, and G. Of course, you can use the single down strums, but I'm gonna show you the example that you would use with the accented, semi-muted down strums, that crazy one. I'm on my way, driving at 90 down those country lanes, singing to tiny dancer, and I miss the way you make me feel. That strumming pattern is going to be the one that people are going to want to gravitate towards because it is the one that sounds most like the song. But I'm also going to show you another one that I improvised on. This also might be a strumming pattern that will come naturally for some more of you because it is one that's more flowy, if that makes sense. Flowy, that's a good word. Okay, let's get into it. It's down, up, up, down, up, up, down, down, up. And you do that once for each chord on the C. Down, up, 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 down, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, down, up. Down, up, up, down, up, up, down, down, up. And you can keep repeating that. I'm gonna go ahead and sing that with the chorus so you can see how it all fits together. I'm on my way, driving at night, see down those country lanes. prefer that one over the previous ones I showed you. I don't know, I keep changing my mind. I can't decide. I think we've established that you can pretty much use any of the strumming patterns that I'm showing you for any part of the song. The one thing that changes though is the progression. So verses and chorus are the same, pre-chorus is different, and then the bridge is also different, which is what I'm gonna teach you now. So let's get into that. The bridge is A minor, F, C, and G. You're gonna do each for four beats, just like the rest of the song follows. So with single down strums, which is a great option because the bridge is a little bit more open. Let me get to it. I need lyrics. So A minor. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One friend left to sell clothes and one works down by the coast. One had two kids but lives alone. One's done a brother overdose. You know, I'm not actually sure on the melody for this, which is really weird. How do I not know? This is freaking Ed Sheeran and I don't know how the melody to the bridge goes. Am I serious right now? This is really embarrassing. Okay, let's get over the fact that I don't know how the melody goes for the bridge. Um, yeah, single down strums are great. To sell clothes and one works down by the coast. I think I'm pretty close on that. Or you can do the down, up, up, down, up, up, down, down, up. You know why I think I'm off is because I'm just so used to hearing this song in the original key. One friend left to sell clothes and one works down by the coast. One had two kids but lives alone and one is brother overdosed. And if you're doing single down strums, One's already on his second wife And one's just barely getting by These people raised me and I Can't wait to go home Single down strums are good. If you're struggling with the other strumming patterns, just use single down strums. It still sounds amazing, especially if you can like embellish the vocals to fit the Ed Sheeran-ness of the song. I don't know what I'm saying. 
And that's the entire song. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that this tutorial helped you. And also, if you want to learn how to play Shape of You by Ed Sheeran, I have made a ukulele tutorial for that. And it's pretty easy in my personal opinion. So if you're a beginner, you definitely want to check that out. I hope that y'all have a fantastic day. Don't forget to drink your water, eat your vegetables, and be a good person. I love y'all. Bye.